Well, now, I'm not much fit for entertaining, but I reckon you ain't much in the mood for hospitality either, am I right? Oh, I'm not a big talker, eh? I'm used to that from a surly husband and kids more comfortable with kicking a ball around and having a conversation with their ma. Name's Nama. Nama Creed. Raised a family up here before this dungeon thick fog came took him as my story. Helen sent you over to check on me, I reckon. Now, your concern is wicked kind, but I don't need any pitying. I got my shotgun, I got what's left of my wits. I'll manage. Now, this hullabaloo began after the Lady Margaret came back. My husband Larry, the others, we all thought that they'd gone missing out there, but the sea took them. The day they came back, whole town could finally breathe again. But then came that fog, like it was following them back to shore. Twas right, said they, such birds to slay, that bring the fog and mist. <laughs> Don't ask me where I got that from. Probably heard it on Oprah. Never got to ask Larry about what happened in those weeks they were gone. Been around gift horses long enough not to look them in the mouth. He was back. Thought life would go on the way life goes on. One day at a time. When the fog lifts enough to see the Lady Margaret laid up in the harbor, covered in that red seaweed, I always wonder if he'd still be here if I had. Ah, oh, yeah. You'd think these wet bits would just fizzle on the bonfire, but no. They sparkle like kindling wood. That's heartening. <laughs> Ah, jeez, what a mess. Good thing I'm not particular. Now I'm used to getting my hands dirty. Fish guts, childbirth, sutures, the dead. Yeah, maybe I was born for this work. Ah, that don't sound right. Nobody's made for this ungodly work. Except maybe this old thing. So I kill and I chop and I burn, but there's more of them every day, and I feel like I'm pushing a very big stone up a very steep mountain, and it keeps rolling back down. What do you call that? Sisyphean? Or is that when you get a burning in your privates? <laughs> My idea of culture is reruns of cheers and, you know, not ancient Greek mythology. Well, the old gal ain't a proper match for everything that turns up on my doorstep. Seems she's too much for most of it. Spreads a bone of dead man's guts all over the place. Well, there's no time to gather it all up before we're right back up in the thick of it. And they never stop coming. They never stop coming. <laughs> 